Okay, last for this um, episode is Suicide Squad, uh, written by Adam Glass and art by um, Federico Diocho, I think. Probably saying that wrong once again, as you're hearing a lot. Apologize if I'm murdering somebody's name. Now, Suicide Squad, right off the bat, this was a comic that I was not going to get. Um, I'm a huge... Um, Secret Six fan. Yes, this has a lot of the characters, you know, a lot, I guess. It's got a couple of the characters from the Secret Six. It would be a draw for that. I've always kind of liked the Suicide Squad anytime I've read anything of theirs and whatnot. Um, but I wasn't going to pick this issue up because, well, the cover alone tells me I didn't want to pick it up. Um, I like pretty women. I like hot women as much as the next um, heterosexual guy does. But I didn't like the way Harley looks. You know, she looks kind of slutty here and that wasn't interested, it doesn't interest me. I look at the costume, and I'm still not a fan of the costume. I don't know what about it makes it look like Harlequin anymore. I mean, so why is she why does she still go by Harlequin? Other than it's kind of a play on her, um, you know, her actual name. She doesn't look like a Harlequin anymore, in my opinion. So why? Anyway, so I, I got the issue. Um, it's brutal. It's brutal. I mean, heck, the first I don't know what half the comic um, people are being, you know tortured pretty horrifically. Um, there are some great lines in here, though. I, I, I love Harlequin's lines, um, you know, about the fact that she's seen Scary, and Scary doesn't have these people that are torturing her smile. That was great. Her jab at the fact that they, um, you know, stole the Scarecrow's orb robe, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, you know, the characters that they introduce here to give us some background on why they're there, they're interesting. Uh, King Shark continues to be amusing. Him playing dead and then, you know, basically biting off the arm of a guy. That was fun. Um, I don't like Deadshot's new costume either. He looks closer to being a cyborg than being Deadshot, so I'm not real keen on that necessarily. Um, I I like the art though. Uh, the art's sharp. Um, good lines. You know, it's got lots of action. People's faces look different from each other. Um, all the things that I that I enjoy about uh, you know about comic book art and whatnot is there. Um, you know, and I'm sure if you've been paying attention to the book at all or reading some of the other stuff that's out there and whatnot, it reintroduces Waller, Amanda Waller, in this, who's a character I absolutely love because she's such a badass. And of course, they introduce her in here, basically looking kind of like. Angela Bassett from the Green Lantern movie. And Angela Bassett looks nothing like the Waller that we know from before the relaunch. Why they chose to make her basically look like, you know, a skinny potential model looking type person as opposed to being the heavyset Waller that we've all come to love, I do not know. Um, and it feels like they placed her on the last page on the panel the way they did as a shock value, not that it was Amanda, but shock value that she's obviously skinny as opposed to being a heavyset woman. I hope they justify it. I hope they justify why she looks the way she looks. I mean, I, I know there's some, you know, there are people out there who say, oh, there should be more um, uh, body appropriate, um, heroes out there and whatnot. And I always kind of debate that. I mean, because almost every comic you read, even if a character has superpowers or whatever, they still train athletically to be in some sort of shape in, in case their superpowers, you know, quit working. So I understand why, why most superheroes look somewhat fit and trim and whatnot. But there's no reason for Waller to look fit and trim unless they change her background and make her some sort of field operative special agent where she would need that sort of physique to run and, you know, climb walls and leap over fences and whatnot. And then, then obviously the heavy set uh, Waller um, wouldn't make much sense. But if she's basically an administrative head type person, there was no reason to change her body type. Give, give us some other people to look at. Give us some other interesting things. They, they can't all look the same. So that's, that's, that's a real shame. I will be picking up the next issue of this comic. There's enough here that interests me. 
I like the premise. I like the premise of, of bad guys that they're kind of giving somewhat of a new lease on life um, and, and see what they'll do. Maybe I'll get over Harley Quinn's costume. Heck, maybe they'll change it. Who knows? And at some point, maybe they'll introduce some other villains that I find interesting too. So right now, it sounds like it might be interesting, so I will continue with that. Okay, so that's it for um, my first um, blog of um, Not on the Poll. Um, I would appreciate any comments or feedback you have. You can leave me a, um, a video feedback or, yeah, you can even, you know, you can even Twitter me. Uh, my um, Twitter handle is the underscore gaunt underscore man. I love to talk about comics. I talk about other stuff on there too, grumble about work and whatever else is going on. But if you throw me a line about comic books or about my blog or about um, this video or any other videos I put out, I'll gladly talk with you. Um, you know, I'll talk with anybody about comics because I love talking about comics. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know and I'll talk at you soon. Thank you.